Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to another edition of Subdivision Showcase. Today, we are going to be touring Snee Farm here in the heart of Mount Pleasant. I'm looking really forward to it. It's a gorgeous neighborhood, so let's go. Snee Farm, which Snee uh, from Old English means bounteous or plentiful. Snee Farm subdivision is a very well established neighborhood right here in the heart of Mount Pleasant. Uh, it's bordered by Highway 17 to the east, Long Point Road to the north, and Whipple Road to the west, which is where we just came in. Snee Farm is made up of nearly 1,000 single family homes, and that's over roughly 700 acres or so. So, doing the math, that you know, most of the homes are on at least a quarter acre lots, many on half acre lots. So, really nice sized lots here in Snee Farm. The majority of the homes were built in a, the mid 70s through the mid 80s. And most of the homes range from about 1,200 square feet on up to the mid 3,000s. There are some outliers there. Uh, there are some larger homes as well as some town homes here in Snee Farm. So amenities available here in Snee Farm, you know, they include a private club, uh, which is also home to a George Cobb Design Championship golf course. Uh, the clubhouse is newly renovated. There's a full service restaurant bar. They've got a fitness room. They've got 18 tennis courts. They've got two newly renovated swimming pools. So the, the amenities are really fantastic here in Snee Farm. Members of Snee Farm also have really nice access to a lot of really great social events. You know, they have holiday parties and trivia nights and live music and, and things like that here in Snee Farm, which really brings the community together. The history of Snee Farm runs, runs quite deep, actually. Um, see, these lakes here, these are not original. These were built in the uh, early 1900s for hunting and fishing. Um, but as I was saying, talking about the history, if you go back about 10 to 15,000 years ago, Snee Farm and the surrounding area, really, the landscape would have looked much different. This would have all been grassy plains. Uh, they, it, you know, all this area would have been roamed by bison and horses, mastodon, mammoths, things like that. Um, actually, when they first constructed the golf course back in 1969, they found bones and artifacts from a mastodon dating back about 10,000 years, which is super cool. As climate's warmed up, 
The landscape would have changed. You know, all those bison and mastodons, things like that, they were replaced by what we typically see today, like deer and squirrel and the woodlands, things like that. Uh, about 2,000 years ago, most all of this area would have been controlled by the Siwi Indians. And the Siwis were allied with the Kiowa tribe and the Wando tribe. Uh, when the English arrived here. So over here we've got the golf club. This is the main entrance here. There's a little bit of new construction going on. Probably about the last bit of new homes that'll be built here in Snee Farm. In 1698, King William III of England granted the land to a gentleman named Nathaniel Law. We actually came in on Law Lane back there, so a lot of the names here in, in Snee Farm you can relate back to figures in history. Uh, but Nathaniel Law, he also had a son named Benjamin Law who owned the property at one time as well. But Nathaniel Law granted the land to um, the Christ Church, or donated the land rather to Christ Church. And over the years, the owners changed quite a few different times. Uh, Colonel Charles Pickney received the land in 1754. It's also said that George Washington ate breakfast somewhere here on Snee, in Snee Farm underneath a large oak tree back in about 1791. The land was purchased at one point in the early 1800s for as little as $3,150 and then later back in the early 1900s for about $15,000 if you can believe that. In 1966, the Snee Farm Golf Club purchased the property with the exception of the 28 acres that are surrounding a historic house which is now designated as a national park. So Snee Farm as we know it today began to be developed in the early to mid 70s, which you can easily see in the architecture here in Snee Farm. We've got everything from traditional to colonial to the, the Charlestonian homes. So I am exiting out here, Snee Farm. I'm exiting via the Long Point Road and just across from us here is Boone Hall, but I'm going to take a left here and on the left will be the 28 acres that are designated to Charles Pickney National Historic Site. All right, so just here on the left is the Charles Pickney National Historic Site. Very cool, definitely recommend you popping in there if you're in the area. And that's about it for Snee Farm. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time on Subdivision Showcase. Bye-bye.